Apple scab is a major global disease of apples caused by the fungus Venturia inequalis. Heavy leaf scab lesions can cause early defoliation, weakening a tree and leading to other diseases. Scab lesions on fruit make them visually unappealing, resulting in significant economic loss. What does apple scab look like? Leaves first present as lighter green areas that become olive green with fuzzy margins on both sides. Then the spots become black and velvety. Finally, leaves turn yellow and drop. Fruit first look like water soaked areas that turn into velvety green to olive brown lesions. They develop into scabby blisters with a distinct margin. Finally, fruit may crack with uneven growth. Where does the apple scab fungus come from, and how does it spread to my orchard? The previous year's defoliated infected leaves and fruit litter in orchards are the source of primary infection in early spring. During winter and early spring, Pseudothesia containing ASCII grow on leaves from overwintering scab lesions. Eight ascospores, sexual spores, are produced in ASCII. ASCII ruptures to release mature ascospores. Primary scab infection. Ascospores cause primary infection in early spring on young apple leaves. Mycelium formed by ascospore infections produce conidial asexual spores that cause secondary infections. Throughout spring and summer, conidial infections continue to spread disease by producing large numbers of conidia. Late summer and fall, heavy scab infection and defoliation occurs. During winter, scab fungus overwinters in defoliated leaf litter. Early spring, New infection cycle begins. How do I prevent and control apple scab? Plant resistant varieties. Prune for better air movement and sunlight penetration for drying. Remove water sprouts. Remove fallen leaves and have good orchard sanitation in the winter. Spray 5% solution of urea in the autumn to aid leaf breakdown. Shred leaf litter using a flail mower or remove leaf litter by raking, sweeping, or vacuuming. Use fungicides as a For more information on apple scab, find the article on the website of the American Phytopathological Society, APS. Visit our website at conlab at Cornell University. For questions and comments, Send us an email at mak427 at cornell.edu.